souls or am n am n satisfy this her of equations where am n are positive integers. The first equation has m n and m plus n. The left hand sides of the second equation can be written as m n times m plus n. So we let x equal m plus n, y equal m n. Then the given system of equations can now be written as x plus 2y equals 100 and 10 xy equals 600 and 72. From equation 1, we can write x equals 100 and 10 minus 2y. By substituting equation 3 in equation 2, we can now write 100 and 10 minus 2y times y equals 672. By expanding and rearranging the equation, we can now write 2y squared minus 100 and 10y plus 672 equals 0. We divide the equation by 2 and we can now write y squared minus 55y plus 336 equals 0. Factorize the equation and write y minus 7 times y minus 48 equals 0. So y1 equals 7, y2 equals 48. By substituting these values of y in equation 3, we can now write x1 equals 96, x2 equals 14. As x equals m plus n, y equals mn. So case 1 m plus n equals 96, mn equals 7. We're given that m, n are positive integers, so from mn equals 7, we know that m, n are both factors of 7, so m, n are both less than or equal to 7, so the sum of m and n can't equal 96. So this power of equations of no integer solutions. So this case is discarded. Case 2, m plus n equals 14, mn equals 48. By Vieta's formulas, we know that m, n are two roots of this quadratic equation. We can factorize this equation and write t minus 6 times t minus 8 equals 0. So t1 equals 6, t2 equals 8. So either m equals 6, n equals 8, or m equals 8, n equals 6.